What's going on guys? Welcome back to Roman's Land. How are you guys doing today? Now, this video here is actually for a school project. However, I am going to post this as its own video on YouTube so that way you guys can also learn from this tutorial. I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to edit the lightsaber effect. Okay, so you guys can see I have After Effects open right here in the panel. Before you open After Effects, you're going to have to record yourself with a lightsaber and move it around pretending that there's a lightsaber. So, this is actually going to be the clip that I'm going to use. It's sweet, short, and simple, and this is it. What you're going to want to do is open your files, put in your clip. Now, this is going to be the little area here where you put in all your files. Okay, so this here is a composition. When you want to create a composition, grab your clip and then drag it right over here. You can see that it creates a separate workspace, so that way imagine you're doing all the editing here, you're done with this clip, and you want to move on to the next one, go right here. And, and you have an empty workspace ready to go. Once you put in your clip, so give it a nice little trim, and then drag your clip right up to the beginning. Grab this area, drag it over there to the end of the clip. You can see it loops it. So you can press layer solid now what you're going to want to do is press this little box here and this will allow you to change the colors then press ok now make sure that this is selected what you're going to want to do next is grab the pen tool you can just press it here what you're going to want to do is create four dots perfect now scroll over to the beginning of the timeline so next grab each uh, each point and have your top drag it over the top and then grab this and then grab this pretty simple now what you can do is you see this little eye button press this and it'll make the mask transparent that way you can easily see what where the lightsaber is because if you're trying to animate while it's bold and white you can't see the lightsaber so but your next step is to animate it. Now this part is a little time consuming depending on how long your clip is or depending on how many frames per second you're filming with. You're going to want to press this little arrow and press masks. Uh, press this again. And you're going to want to press mask path. Now when you press the stopwatch that creates a keyframe. Now this starts the animation. Now if we move over to the next frame you can see I moved a little bit. So feel free to zoom in closer, that way you can really see where the lightsaber is. Sometimes this is what'll happen, sometimes if you grab it and drag it, sometimes the whole thing will go along with it. Now if you do not want that to happen, let me show you how to do that. Press this again, select it again, and now you can see the dots have become circles. So, just keep doing that for the rest of your video clip. So, review your clip, make sure everything is good. Alright, perfect, looks good. Again, I, I apologize for all that stuff over there. Uh, this was the best place I can set up the camera. Okay, once you're done with that, select your white solid, select your white saber layer, and press Control C. Control C, copy, and then paste it four more times. Now you're going to want five of these. So the next thing you're going to need to do is press this. This is more of the fun part. And hold down shift and then press the bottom one. This selects it all. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to press M on the keyboard. Very good. Up here. That way. Now this may look complicated, but really though, it's not. I mean, once you get used to it, you should be all right. You should be good. So press this arrow. Sometimes you may have to press it twice. And this is Mask Feather. What you're going to want to do is press this. Select it. Now I can type it in the number I want. You're going to want to have to press number 3. And now the goal here is... Now, as I go down, I'm going to increase the fade higher and higher. Hereby, giving it the illusion that it's glowing. And then go back to the same area that you were in before. Mask Feather. And you're going to want to type in the number 10. And you're going to want to type in the number 30. 
and you're gonna want to type in 60 and you're gonna want to type in 120 there you go there you go now it looks like it's going you're gonna want to go back to layer press this press new and press solid now press this and you're gonna make your solid black okay once you're done you don't have to worry about naming it so don't worry about it now you can see it's at the very top so grab this drag it all the way down to the bottom of all the lightsaber layers now if you play it back the background is black and then select the black layer and then right click and press pre-compose now what that now what this does is this takes all of your layers and compresses it down to a single video layer and press ok now you can see it's become a video clip now so like this right click and go to blending mode and hit screen perfect okay I decided to move the webcam down here so that way you can see this area here and this area here now go to the search bar and type down curves there you go right here right under color correction hold it down drag it over to the saber layer now this gray one here this makes it brighter or this makes it darker so I want to have blue because I like blue so I want to make the blue a little more brighter and now since it looks orange grab this I like to turn it down now you can see the blue looks bolder looks good here we go now you can see the difference play around with this uh, do whatever pleases you you can see there's a bit more color instead of that boring bold white so that's it so guys that is how you edit a lightsaber oh so there it is ladies and gentlemen that is how you edit a lightsaber effect it's very simple this only took like 31 minutes so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope that you were able to learn something cool and I hope you were able to learn something new